Welcome back. This video we're going to be continuing our work on polynomials. So we're just going to be looking at a skill called equating the coefficients. So let's take a polynomial. Let's say we had 2x, uh, let's say 2x squared plus 12x minus 7. And let's say that we knew that equaled or could be written as a times x plus 3 squared plus b. So what we're looking at is how do we represent a polynomial in a different form and this will come in handy later on when we're trying to solve equations or or sketch but for now we've got a different form of the polynomial but it's got two unknowns a and b. So let's say we were trying to find a and b. So first things first we'll look at the right hand side of the equation and we've got a x plus 3 squared plus b and let's expand those brackets so I'd get a times x squared plus 6x plus 9 plus b so I get a x squared plus 6a x plus 9a plus b so if I can expand that out and then look at the two equations or look at the two sides of the equation. I've got this left hand side here. So 2x this side here. Let's copy that one over. Control C, Control V. Right. If I take that and look at what the right hand side equals now, I've got 2x squared plus 12x minus 7 is equal to ax squared plus 6ax plus 9a plus b. So when we're equating the coefficients, we look at the terms and go, hey, I've got an x squared term here and I've got an x squared term there. So when I say that these two things must be the same, when I knew that from the question, they were equal to each other, that tells me that therefore 2x squared must be the same as ax squared. So to solve that, divide both sides by x squared, therefore a must equal 2. So I just look at the coefficients of the terms of the x with the x of the same power. So if I look at 12x, I look at the right hand side and go, well, what's got just x to the power 1 in it? I can see 6ax. And you go, well, we already know a. Let's just check it. 6ax equals 12x. Okay, well, a, let's just solve it. Divide both sides by 6 and divide, divide x as well. I'm left with a equals 2. 6 times 2 is 12, times x is 12x. When I look at the last term, I've got minus 7 is my constant. Minus 7, and that must equal 9a plus b. I go, alright, now I've got one equation with two unknowns, but I'd already found a was 2. So if I solve this, so I sub this in, I'd have negative 7 equals 18 plus b. So therefore, b must equal negative 7 minus 18. b is going to be negative 25. So how this helps us is that we can then say that 2x squared plus 12x minus 7 can be written as 2 times x plus 3 all squared minus 25. And you go, hey, we haven't had to do any of the completing the square or that sort of fun stuff, and we've got turned a quadratic into turning point form. We'll do a few more of these. Um, but all the best with his exercise.